Hey, what's up interwebs? I'm that toy guy and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Transformers Power Master Optimus Prime, the original G1 version of the thing. And I will preference this right now by saying this is the American, the not the American, the North American version, not the Japanese version because it has the different smokestacks and there's no die cast and the fists on the trailer are different. But here's the truck. I thought we'd start with the truck because the, having the truck in the trailer would be very, very hard to do right now, so I'll just start with the truck. And I don't have the box! So, say hello, and say goodbye. Well, I didn't make a noise. Let's try that again. Let's, let's stand him up here. And be gone! There you go. Now he made a noise. So, here is the truck, and... It's a lot different from, than the uh, G1 truck. I don't have the G1 truck. That G2 truck I had a while back, I sold it. But he does look a lot like the original, just only with one wheel on the back instead of two. And he's a little bit bigger. But other than that, that's really it for differences. All the details and stuff are the same. You got the grill in the front. I wish these were painted red, but they're not. Oh well. These are all stickers. Most of the detail you see on here that's colored is a sticker. So like this is sticker, these are stickers, these are stickers, those are stickers, stickers, sticker, like a lot of stickers on this guy. But yeah, he is a truck and I mean, that's really it. I mean, there's some molded detail, but not a lot. And not even the smokestacks get any, which is kind of disappointing. But then again, it's the North American version. In North America, we don't get the best made toys because North American people are cheap and don't like they're taking pride in what they do. Anyways, here he is next to, well, I don't have the Titans Return Power Master Prime because I already have Ultra Magnus and I'm not gonna buy Power Master Prime. So here he is next to the Ultra Magnus truck cab. It's the same thing as Power Master Primes, just looks different. And as you can see, he's quite a bit bigger than the new version of himself. Just show you there, I'll hold it. He's a, like an entire, like these are his feet. He's basically his feet longer than this truck right here. So yeah, he does come with a lot of accessories. He comes with one of these, one of these, one of these, another one of these, one of these, and one of these. So what can you do with all this stuff? Well, you can put it on him, so. Let's do that, starting with, get out of here, starting with the trailer, there's a little port on the back, and there's this peg. Now, be careful with this peg, because I bought this guy at uh, TFCon for 50 bucks, and some guy tried selling me one for 70 bucks, where this peg was snapped off, and every other version I saw there at the convention had that peg snapped off, so be very careful with yours. I am being very careful with mine, so be very ginger with it, if that makes sense, but these guns, there's a peg at the bottom and there's two ports on top. You just plug them in so he can shoot himself. Because as you can see, they don't, there's a hand in the way. That's what I was saying, the Japanese version, the hands go down into the wrists, these ones don't. But you have these guns with peg and port and it's the same on the other side. So you just plug that in, so you can find it, there it is. I like to tilt them up a little, just because, why not? And there you have Power Master Prime all trailered up, and he looks quite cool. I really do like this. He's big, he's beefy and chunky and he's weighty because there's a lot of plastic on this guy. But overall, it looks a lot like the G1, uh, like the original G1 Optimus Prime truck. I think the striping is backwards though. Like I think the stripes in the G1 version went the other way. But, eh, oh well, this is a new version of Prime. And I think this trailer is the same length as the original one. Again, I don't have the original one because I'm not made out of money. I do not have enough money to afford that thing. I'd love to, but I mean, I can't. So, but just quickly to get this out of the way, here he is with Ultra Magnus. As you can see, he's an entire cab length longer than Ultra Magnus. Or the, if you have Power Master Prime, this guy's exactly the same. So, get and take a look at the detail on this truck here, the trailer. We got some nice molded in like electronic techno garbage. They have detailed on the side that they used to do in the 80s. 
We've got the, this is all sticker, by the way. These are all stickers. I need to get some more because these ones are kind of coming off. You got the back of the truck here. That's a sticker. You got two suspicious gaps back there, but oh well. It's also a sticker. You got on top, nothing really, just just textured a bit. The guns though are detailed, molded. Ah, I can't speak English. They look really nice. They don't look like a G1 gun, but I don't really care because this is a new version of Optimus Prime. I know that does bug some people though, that the guns do not look like the G1 versions. But here are these little seat things and these are pretty cool. I think these kind of look, remind me of like little tiny spaceships. And I'll show off what I mean by that in a minute, uh, when I get to his base mode. So, yeah. And I forgot, there's two accessories that kind of don't do much in this mode. So you have these two. The dropped one. Can't pick up one. There you go. You have these two. You have the head and high Q. So, what I do with the head, because there's really nowhere to store it other than doing that officially. So what I do is I open the back. Because you can't open the back of this, this guy's truck. I just toss it in there. There you go. High Q just kind of stands there. But High Q is a power master, and let's take a look at him there. A lot of nice mold to detail, and he's painted quite. Like, I mean, he's not painted very much, but his color differences are quite nice to be a lot better than the Titan Masters we're getting today. But yeah, on the back you just see this massive engine block there. And yes, he's rusting because I bought this used. I don't know if someone put this in the bathtub or something. I don't know. But I clean my figures when I buy them. I just didn't do that because I was already like that. Anyway, the Japanese version of the new Power Master Prime, the I think his headmaster looks like this. But this guy I still like a lot better than that thing. So his storage, what you can do is he plugs onto the front, but that's more due to transformation. So, let's get to that. Well, first, that's what he's like next to a modern day deluxe. Alrighty, let's get onto his transformation. So the first thing you wanna do is take this entire trailer, pop it off and put it away. And you're back to the cab. Now, the cab cannot transform without this. Well, it sorta of can. I mean, all you gotta do is push that little white thing there to unlock his legs, but what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to take Q, fold him like this and break his legs and his knees. Then you want to take him and plug him in right to the front. And mine doesn't like to stay in very well because the clips are sort of bent, but you just want to make sure he stays in there. Aha, there we go. Now you can unlock the legs because it basically undoes that latch right at the bottom there, and that's what latches the legs on. Then you wanna fold the feet out and stand him up. Raise this up, there you go. Now what you wanna do is fold down his crotch plate. Oh, IQ popped out. Fold out his arms, fold down his hands, and flip up the head. There you have Power Master Optimus Prime in his robot mode. And IQ just kinda of fell out. And this is a very cool robot mode, except one thing that sticks out way more than it should. <laughs> but other than that, he's pretty cool. Now for stickers that are revealed, you have, like I said, these stickers here. You have two stickers in the arms, you have an Autobot symbol, and two leg stickers. Which I will say, will do that with transformation. So, be careful with that. Now just for a quick comparison, here he is next to the Voyager... MP10, and obviously these are two completely different versions of Optimus Prime, this being the G1, and this being the uh, Power Master? I can't remember what series he was from, actually, but anyway, they look pretty cool together. They're about the same size. MP10 Voyager knockoff dude is a little bit taller at the ears, because Power Master Prime doesn't really have ears, but eh. I'm not going to compare him to Ultra Magnus because Ultra Magnus' cab only turns into a head. But here he is next to Skydive. If I can find his gun. There's his gun. There you go. There's Skydive. And yeah, so he's about Voyager. Well, about modern day Voyager scale. Because the modern day Voyager is a little, a little smaller. So, 
And for weapons, he can hold all four of them, but he's really only meant to hold these. So they just peg into his hands, right there. But there is one issue with these guns. That's as high as they go, because they're too long for his arms. So what you have to do is you just gotta like bend him that way, I guess, and then he can kind of shoot forward. But that looks weird. And any, any slight little, there he goes. So that kind of does bug me a bit that he can't hold those guns and these guns only go that far, only go that far either just because they're too big for his body. So yeah, just getting those off the side. Let's take a look at that head sculpt. It looks evil in my mind just due to the fact that he has red eyes. Like, why would you give him red eyes? It's like the last night Optimus Prime right here. Anyway, you got some silver paint up top, you got some silver for the face there, and a big huge hole in his upper torso. That's not nice. Um, you have a nice molded in grill there done in silver, you got his crotch plate all done in white. His legs are done in blue, these are sticker details. And his feet have no detail to them whatsoever. So yeah, that's him. Very simple, very basic, but he's Optimus Prime, so everyone loves him. Anyway, putting him off to the side for now. This thing does something. It has a base mode. So, we'll get to that base mode. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go up here and lift this slightly. Then you want to take this section, fold that back, take this section, fold that back. And there you have some more stickers, which I'll get to in a second. Then what you want to do is you want to take the legs and you want to split them. Just split them. Well, you want to remove that too. Split them. And they'll ratchet out to the sides. They're very stiff. And the next thing you want to do is you want to come back here and take these and fold them out. And then you want to take the arms, fold them down, and flip them up. And then flip this up, a sort of like a control stick, and fold this section down, and take these, fold them out. And then you want to take these cannons here, and there's ports right there. So you want to plug them in, just like so. And I like to take these guns and plug them into the side. And there you have him in his, well there you have it, in its base mode. And it's very large, it is a very large base mode. Like here's skydive on the base. I really do like this base mode. I like it quite a bit. I like it a lot better than the new one, which I'll try and replicate on Ultra Magnus in a second. We can take Prime, you can just stand him in there at the control stick. And he can man the station and be like, Autobots roll out, don't kill anyone. And these guns here, if you notice, have two little tabs right there. And he has a thing in a spot where he shouldn't have a thing, but that has a purpose. You peg that wrong thing into there, and then you fold his legs down. And now he is sitting, very securely, on the cannon. And that's why I think this looks like a spaceship, because you can just fly it around. But, oops. But yeah, you just peg that in there. And this has, you can put headmasters, and power masters, and target masters, and titan masters, and... Rest masters and whatever other masters that they came out with all over this thing because that's really what this base is meant for scale wise it's meant for those and the mini bots I don't have any mini bots or any legends figures on hand right now so I can't show that off but oh wait I actually I have something this is about the size of an old legends figure knockoff swindle that kind of fits I mean move the gun out of the way and then we this has nowhere to go, so this just kind of sits off on the side. But, let's try and see if I can replicate the, uh, get out here, the Ultra Magnus base mode. Uh, that's the best I could do to try. I don't, I usually skip the parts of people's reviews that show off Power Master Prime's base mode, because I don't like the way it looks. But that's basically what I tried to do there, it kind of, get rid of him. It's sort of, you got the arms stretched up, you get the legs all folded out, but... I mean, again, so much better. So much better. Getting this thing out of the way. Now, this guy has another mode, so let's get to that. So the first thing you want to do is remove high Q, 
Remove all the guns. Remove Optimus. And you're left with this base mode right here. So you just want to basically transform it back into a trailer. Ah, and flip it around. And look, you got legs already done for you. So the next thing you want to do is you want to take the arms and fold them back down. And then you want to take this little stick here and fold it all the way back and around. There you have the trailer in its armor configuration. Oh, wait, no, not done yet. Hang on. These two guns plug into the shoulders in the pegs that were there. And these things plug into the pegs, the ports, sorry, on the fist. Just like so. If you had the Japanese version, you'd slide the fists up where you did that. And you want to take Prime here and basically turn him back into a truck. And then you want to take this back section and fold it up. And now he's a cube. And that big hole on the top that's actually a screw hole. You want to take the head and plug that in. Take this and drop it down. And there you go. Oh, you can't see it. And there you have Power Master Optimus Prime in his robot mode. And this thing is huge. Like it is it is really big. I'll let me get Ultra Magnus over here and I'll show you. So as you can see, he just like That's Magnus slash Power Master Prime slash whichever version you have. The uh the um the Takara version of Power Master Prime, I think is the same height, but the uh, Hasbro version, because the Hasbro version is the same height as this. It's a lot shorter than this guy, and here's Skydive, just for a little comparison there. He's really big, and, well, I mean, he's not, like, combiner big, but he's still, oh, that noise was awful. He's still quite big. And yes, Q would still plug into his chest if mine would stay. The issue is, you see those hooks right, oh, you see those hooks right there? Those are what latch on to those little holes in the legs there when you fold them up and I think it's this one that's slightly bent in due to it just being plastic and this when I bought it he was in this configuration with this guy in his chest and the guy selling it said he hadn't removed him from his chest in a while so his um clips have sort of molded into being that far a little bit too far apart and that's what's causing him to have a hard time to stay in is because those clips just don't meet where they used to. But, I mean, I can easily fix that with a hair dryer, but I have to take the whole torso apart. And I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to do that. But, yeah, overall, this guy is just a brick. And I mean, I mean a brick. If I had a brick here, I would compare it to a brick, but I don't have a brick. Um, but, yeah, this thing is just, it is huge. Really, really, really big. But I really like it. This was one of my holy grails. I got this two years ago at one of the at uh, the TFCon 2015. Either it's 2015 or 2014. I got it. I don't quite remember off the top of my head. But for new sticker details that you see, you have the stickers on the feet and on the knees, and you have these stickers here and the Autobot symbols. You have those those stickers right there, and that's really it. Now, he has a the articulation equivalent to a Megazord, and by that I mean all he does is that. You have to be careful too, because if you keep doing this, I mean, it takes a while, but these guns do eventually fall off. They're not the most secure connection in the world, but oh well. Yeah, he's really cool. I really do like this thing a lot. I mean, you can technically count that as articulation, his legs go out, but there's nothing useful you can do with that. Now, I'm not sure if the God Bomber can fit on the American, the a North American version. I gotta stop saying American version. I don't know if it can fit on the North American version, but it does look cool on the Japanese version. So if you were to go in on a Power Master Prime, I'd say get God Jinrai versus Power Master Prime because the Takara version is so much better than this. It's got chrome. It's got like better done front end. This is die cast. The hands are done better, the paint is done better, the sticker quality is better, the um, God Bomber, the whole attachment there is really good. Now, I know there was a reissue of this guy that came out a long time ago. I think you could get it at Toys R Us. I'm not 100% sure about that, but 
it had um, the God Bomber with it, and I missed out on that. And now when I go to TFCon to try and buy it, people are like asking for two, three hundred bucks for that thing, and I'm not paying that much. So if you can find one for a decent price, totally go for it. If not, then this guy is a really good alternative. So that has been my look at the Transformers Generation One. Power Master Optimus Prime, and I'm that toy guy. Stay tuned for my next video.